Hi guys and welcome back to the next Minecraft Advancement episode. So the next advancement is called Free the Ends and this one is to defeat the Ender Dragon. Now the first advancement in the Ends category is actually to enter the end portal um, but there is actually two advancements for the same um, you get two advancements for doing the same thing so I've already covered that before so the first time you enter the end portal you will unlock two advancements now when you're doing the first one don't go in unless you are prepared to face the dragon because if you go in for the first time and the dragon is alive there is no way of getting out so make sure you are fully prepared. So here I have plenty of regen potions, instant health potions, some speed, some golden apples, plenty of food. And I have my sword and bow ready, plus all my armor and a pickaxe um, for breaking the iron bars around the end crystals. and. This is also a good idea if you've been to a woodland mansion and managed to get a totem of undying that's always a good thing you can put into your offhand slot um, just to give you a little bit extra chance of uh, defeating it if you do manage to lose all your health um, and once you are fully prepared you can head into the portal so we will head in and when you come in you will end up on a platform just outside of the main end part so you have to be really careful that you're not within reach of the dragon uh, another thing that's good to bring make sure you have got plenty of blocks for getting around because if you need to pillar up to the main island uh, it's a lot quicker if you've already got blocks with you rather than having to mine um, End stone. I do remember the dragon can destroy any block that's not an end block just by flying through it. So we'll get up here and get ready to fight the dragon. Okay and I'm ready to go so make sure you keep eating, keep your health up as high as possible and the first thing you want to do is take out as many of these uh, healing crystals as possible some of them will have bars around if you've got a bottle with you you can pick up that advancement as well um, just fill the bottle with the dragon's breath when it's on the floor be careful it is a uh, area effect so if you walk into them particles you will get damaged and this is the reason you need to bring either a lot of arrows or um, a bow with infinity on. Now you can start shooting at the dragon after you took a couple out but I think the best thing to do is to take out most if not all of these crystals uh, just to prevent the dragon from healing. Now these ones with iron bars on you will have to get up and pillar up uh, there is multiple ways of doing this. If you destroy one of those crystals while it is healing the dragon, so it's got that where's he gone? That that white kind of particle effect going towards it. If it's got that touching and you destroy the crystal that's coming from it will actually damage um, damage the dragon a little bit as well. Now if you can see when it comes down above the portal like this he will reflect the arrow so this is why you need your sword so when he's down there you make sure you stay out of the way of the dragon's breath and you can do some damage with the sword like that so the more crystals you take out the more of the healing crystals that you destroy the faster you will be able to kill the dragon
if we can get a few more shots, see if we can get it down. If not, we will destroy some more crystals. Okay, so once we've got uh, the crystals destroyed, if you watch the health at the top, you will see it goes down quite easily when it's not uh, healing anymore. So the most difficult part, as you've seen, is getting up to those ones in the iron cages. Um, if the dragon comes at you, charges at you while you're pillaring up, you, it's very unlikely you're going to stay on. As you could see, I got knocked off quite a few times. When the dragon flies through items, it can fly through obsidian, it can fly through um, the end stone, and it just leaves it untouched. But if it flies through any other block, um, like the cobblestone I was using, it actually destroys it as well. Um, so the best thing to use to pillar up is one of the end blocks, but to do that, you then have to spend time mining them while you're here and avoiding the dragons. So just make sure you bring plenty of blocks. And if you do lose some, it, dry, it goes through and they get destroyed. It doesn't really matter. So make sure you bring plenty. And then as you can see, we are getting low on health now. When it flies a certain distance away, I'm not quite sure how many blocks it is, but if, when it flies too far away, no matter how accurate you are with a bow, uh, it won't actually hit, it has to be within a certain distance. And then we have the last hit. And we have the dragon destroyed. How oh, we will get all the XP there, all the XP drops down. And that is done. You can see we've got the advancement then. So 
it is possible to do alone it is a little bit harder if you've got if you're on a server and you've got a group of people it is always easier to do it that way um especially if you've got people who can climb up to these towers while you're shooting shooting them and you can get them out a lot quicker and we've got the dragon egg left over there now on top and the portal is open and we are ready to leave so that is the dragon dawn with a sword and a bow and arrow there is lots of other ways to do it um, but this is what I find the best I always stick with the basic bow and arrow and sword um, I know people have tried it with redstone beds and all sorts of things being built in this area some people will try and do it by using the end crystals when you make end crystals you can actually um, use them to damage it as well so there we have the advancement complete